All right, it is time to take a look at Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal. You didn't think that we would go through the entire month of the 30, 25th anniversary and not take a look at Primal himself. No, of course not. And we have guest stars. Maybe not. Kind of. Anyway, um, here is me stepping on plastic while I'm trying to record this video. So, and that was my knee popping. Here is a look at the regular release. Not the Netflix 2-pack. I saw that once. I didn't see much of a difference. Um, enough to get it, so I didn't bother. So, let's see. Take a look at... Well, let's first, let's take a look at the weapons. So they go into the, the Gorilla Fist pretty good. All right, here we go. Here are the swords. Lots of good detail on these. A little bit of where they came off of a, the mold and a little piece of plastic right there I'll have to cut off. Um, I mean, they're really nice little sabers. I love this arch that they have right here, and it almost looks like the blade uh, transformed out, which is pretty cool. Um, on a side note, uh, I was working on and then just kind of stopped, but I need to finish a, uh, a piece so that he can have both of them in one hand. So that'll come out sooner or later. Anyway, uh, all right, so here's the swords. Now, as far as integrated weapons, we've got... Uh, I remember how to do this. Open his back. Open his back. Open. Why can't I remember how this goes? Ah. Am I having a brain fart? I thought this just popped open. Yeah. I haven't played with this in a while. Okay, you can flip out his, get your finger in there and flip his head around, get your finger in there and flip that and go there and it's way more complicated than it should be. Wait, get everything back the way it is, turn his monkey butt around and you've got his Shoulder cannons. I just realized something unfortunate. I'm not re recording this. Hell, that's better. Hell, you can see better now. There's his shoulder cannons. And then, and I usually like to use the, the end of the sword to do this part. Press these little square openings here, and you got his wrist guns. So there's that. And they move up and down. So those are pretty cool. And then they just hide back in. As far as articulation goes, you've got shoulder rotation a nice deep elbow but it leaves this weird gap the uh the hands turn the fingers open and close bring it on uh hip rotate or uh, waist rotation his head's on a ball joint but it's kind of limited because it's big if you have the cans out, it feels more limited than it really is. It really clears everything. It's just, it doesn't have a lot of up and down. You've got good hips, but they do hit. If you have like at a weird angle, they'll hit. Um, you have this almost double knee, if I can show you. Ah! It's the most unprofessional video ever. He's also got kind of a double knee because that bends on that hinge, but that's supposed to lock into place. And it's supposed to bend on that hinge. 
Either one works. Uh, one of the coolest features about this guy is on the feet. You've got this kind of piston that moves as the toe moves. It goes up and down. And that's pretty cool. So you've got ball jointed feet. Actually, I don't think they're ball jointed. No, they're not ball jointed. They just have a lot of movement to them. So there is robot mode. Ugh. So, let's grab some comparisons. So, as a special treat though, we have some added new comparison bots. So first, we will go with... Why are they all transport? You know what, I don't care. Funko Pop Bumblebee. And... Kingdom Dinobot and if you were lucky enough to get your hands on the Worlds Collide set Nemesis Primal he'll get his own video and uh, who else from over here uh, Black Arachnia, or maybe one of the other ones, or, uh, hey, no, no, I told you no, interrupting dinosaur, sorry about that, he just, he wants his own video, and I told him to stop being a dick, and he can't stop being a dick, and he's not getting his own video. So, there's uh, some robot comparisons. Yeah, I know that one's not really, but it was sitting there. Alright, so, transformation on this guy. Let me move these. Actually, you know what? No. Let's not do transformation yet. I actually do want to take a look at these comparisons, because... I didn't realize how awesome the Nemesis Primal one was until I got it out of the box. And I know everybody had pictures of him and stuff, but I want to show you something. Like, the red versus the teal. The teal on the guns versus the dark blue. They painted this, whereas this is molded. Uh, the sword's got blood on them, the purple fingers. But the, the, big, the biggest thing... Look at those faces. Look at that face. Look at that. You're not getting your own video anymore, sorry. That head sculpt is awesome. Like they, they, they did an amazing job of separating these two just enough. With the different colored feet and the different colors here and there. Like... They're obviously the same robot, but they're also not the same robot. And the only actual molded difference is the face. Not even the whole head, just the face. All right, let's transform them. All right, now we've got robot mode. And let's take a look at, our, you know, he, he keeps the same articulation in the arms. Ugh. Tightened that up wrong. Keeps the same articulation in the arms. Um, I can't ever get this to look right. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. But I think it's pretty much how it's supposed to look. Um, he's got more articulation than like, you know, Rhinox and stuff. But so does a brick. But I mean, it's not, it's actually, I don't think it's actually that great of articulation. He does have some and you can move the arms around and the hands around. And you can get some cool fighting poses out of him. And you could, you could kind of facsimilate when he would stand up in gorilla mode. But not really because then he's got this going on. Which is weird. So let's take a look at him next to some other ones. Here he is next to his little buddy Rat Trap. Here we have Cheetor. And let's try if he'll stand up. T-Rex. Because why not? 
And while we're going in alt modes, let's throw in Let's see, let's throw in not quite Bumblebee. Because I don't understand why they didn't get better licensing on the Volkswagen Bug and why we have to have two Bumblebees in the same line that are two different goddamn cars. And... Nah, that's good. Oh, wait, no, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Because I haven't, we haven't seen him in a while. Uh, let's see, let's adjust the camera just a little bit. Kingdom Scorponok. But the comparison I'm sure you really want to see... Move these guys to the side. Nemesis Prime. That purple and those blood red eyes. The purple hands is whatever. And the purple chest is kind of neat. But those eyes. Yeah. It's just right into your soul. Whereas these are kind of dead. So that's beast mode. All right. So that's been Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal. Um, thoughts on this guy? I like most of the things about him. I'm not a huge fan of the, and I'll show you on Nemesis Primal. Um, I don't like how the back works out at all. I don't like that you can literally see through the figure in certain ways. Yeah, there you go. I don't like that. Um, in robot mode, I think he looks fantastic. I have no complaints about robot mode. I don't even mind this, and I could fix that if I wanted to. I just, and I've been asked to, I just don't see a need to. Um, it's a small gap to pay. Ha! I love the head sculpt that they gave him. I'm glad they didn't go with the toy accurate head sculpt. Like they did with Nemesis, that they doesn't have the mask on or the face mask on. I'm glad they didn't do that. I like this way better. Um, I think he fits in with the other Kingdom line and really all of the War for Cybertron figures size wise. I think he works really well. He scales well to everyone except Rat Trap. I think they made Rat Trap too small, but that's a different deal. Um, but so far, I really like him. I I think if you are trying to do an updated version of Beast Wars, or if you are just trying to round out your uh, Kingdom selection, um, I don't see enough of a difference between this and the Netflix version to tell you which one to buy, nor should you listen to me anyway. Um, if you see the Netflix version and you don't have this, get the Netflix version. I, I don't see enough difference to say get both of them. It's not like Netflix Cheetor versus the Kingdom Cheetor, which both are good and bad for different reasons. So... Yeah, it's up to you, but uh, this is Transformers Kingdom, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal. So yeah, it's a pretty good figure. So, uh, don't forget to check out tformers.com for the 25th anniversary Kingdom stuff, as well as uh, follow links below for merch and stuff like that. Um, still doing the giveaway at TFCon, which is in a month. Uh, if I see you at TFCon wearing one of my shirts, I'll give you a limited edition roller. There will be a video showing off that roller soon. It's finished, and I'm printing them now. So, if you're interested in that, cool. Just helps out uh, what I do a little bit more, uh, because I do offer the files and stuff for free. I don't make any money doing that, and any money I make doing anything else goes back into what I do. Uh, and also goes towards art classes for the daughter who designed the logo. So, you help us out. I throw something a little extra your way when I see you at TFCon. Uh, there's also new COVID masks. I'm going to do a video about that soon, too. Um, or it might be out already. I'm not sure when this one's going to come out. Um, so, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I'm out.